many times have we shown you video of the same type of crime? Thieves smashing their way into stores like this high-end heist at Louis Vuitton in Walnut Creek. Or how about discount cigarettes in Concord, which was hit three times in the span of a month? These crimes are brazen and done without fear of getting caught. And state prosecutors say they've linked them both to one gang from Oakland. But that's not all. They say the same three-man crew was accused of burglary or attempted burglary on about 20 liquor stores and smoke shops across more than a dozen Bay Area cities, and that's just in our backyard. So prosecutors say the same group also stole about $120,000 worth of Chanel purses from a Nordstrom, that happening in San Diego. Police say they got pretty good at evading arrest over and over again until recently our Katie Nielsen spoke with the local detective who was able to tie all of these crimes together. The crime spree sounds like a plot out of a Hollywood blockbuster movie, but as a Walnut Creek detective got into the case, she realized sometimes the facts are even crazier than fiction. Detective Jenna Kohlmeister has been with the Walnut Creek Police Department for 16 years, starting as a beat cop and working her way up. I really started liking financial crimes. I went to the detectives and worked the financial crimes desk. She ended up on the Contra Costa District Attorney's Safe Streets Task Force. And that's how some of these pieces and all the robberies started coming together after a conversation with Concord Police. The detective there at the task force was seeing all of these cigarette store burglaries that were happening at night. So the suspect vehicles were all the same. Then Louis Vuitton in Walnut Creek was hit last October. And you guessed it, the suspect vehicles and descriptions matched the cigarette store burglaries. That's when she knew this was all connected. We started really paying attention to anybody who is hitting high-end designer um, purse stores, high-end designer merchandise stores, and cigarettes, because we knew that this crew were targeting the same types of stores. Over the next few months, she and other task force members tracked smash and grabs all over Northern California from the peninsula to the Central Valley and even up towards Sacramento, plus a designer handbag robbery as far away as San Diego. It was the same thing every time, the same people every time, the same MO every time, the same vehicles every time. She says it was if they thought they'd never get caught. A lot of the information that we gathered was offered to us by the suspects themselves. Now we thinking we this scratching off the little body, we don't care who say the whip. Like this music video she says the suspects posted on YouTube, featuring a stolen Jeep that was very similar to one involved in a high-speed police chase where the suspects got away. They kind of made it easy for us, just through social media, YouTube. Um, it, you know, they made the choice to share information that we ultimately used against them to hold them accountable. From start to finish, the entire investigation only took about four months. Oh, it's fun. I mean, it's the funnest job in the world to see that, you know, people are taking advantage of others and then chase them. Right now, one suspect is behind bars and Walnut Creek police say they are not going to stop until all the suspects are brought to justice.